the WGAL News 8 Storm Team forecast with meteorologist TJ Springer. Maybe you can grab the laptop, go check some emails on the back deck or patio if you have one. Not a bad day to be outside, still a little sticky, but it's a dry, bright day. We are seeing some clouds as we take that live glance over Lincoln Square, though. Off to the north, the west can kind of see that milky sky. And we've seen some of those uh, puffy white cumulus clouds as well. Definitely possible on a day like today where high pressure at the surface is trying to build in, but we still have a little bit of energy upstairs enough to spark up a few clouds. The Super Doppler 8, for the most part, is quiet, and that's the way we'll stay for the remainder of our Friday. We'll call it partly sunny with temperatures back in the middle and upper 80s. Not as humid as yesterday with the help of that west to northwesterly breeze around 10 to 15 miles per hour. Tonight, a warm front begins to lift in. It'll still be sticky with Temperatures falling back into the middle and upper 60s. Then tomorrow, with a little more heat, a little instability, could see a spotty thunderstorm will be ahead of our next cold front in the warmth. And as that front inches closer, we may see a couple of storms with temperatures topping out right around 90. We're at 84 in Carlisle now. It's 83 here in Lancaster, 81 in Harrisburg. And we have 75 for those of you in Lewistown with the mugginess returning tomorrow. I mentioned that helping uh, spark up a few storms that in combo with our next front. And we actually stay muggy Sunday into Monday ahead of our next storm system coming down the pike. So we keep this active pattern and we hold on to that more humid air mass. So be prepared for that if you're heading out to the uh, Lidditz Rotary Club craft show tomorrow. Don't forget to drink plenty of water. We'll have temperatures back in the middle 80s by lunchtime around 90 for the afternoon with a spotty storm or two possible. Predictor will show that. We'll time it out here progressing through the remainder of our afternoon. Seeing a mixture of clouds and sunshine. All good for the evening drive home from work. No issues for any plans this evening. We'll see a few clouds from time to time. Maybe a stray sprinkle as that warm front starts to lift northeastward through tomorrow morning. Maybe a spotty shower or storm, but most of us should remain dry. And then through the afternoon, we're starting to see some of those pop up thunderstorms ahead of the main cold front, which is going to sweep in late tomorrow into tomorrow night. Now our new day storm team 10 day forecast. We do keep that spotty storm possible on Sunday, maybe early in the day, but overall a dry end of the weekend. Then Monday, a better chance as that next system moves in. Behind that, a little less humid on Tuesday. Still may see a lingering storm as that upper level part of that system moves eastbound. Then Thursday looks to be a little bit better, but it'll still be more humid ahead of our next system. We keep this unsettled pattern with none of the round of showers and thunderstorms possible to end this coming work week. But it looks like finally behind that, maybe a little break from the humidity, Susan, by this time next week.